My name is Diane Corner, I'm the British Consul General in Jerusalem and today I've just visited Janine camp, uh, refugee camp, uh, which was the target of an Israeli operation earlier this week. I came here uh, with a group of other diplomats, there were about uh, 20 of us I think, uh, maybe more from uh, a lot of missions based in Jerusalem and in Ramallah too. Uh, and uh, we saw the damage that had been done to the camp. We started our visit by going to a girls' school um, and heard uh, an overall picture from UNRWA, from OCHA, from UN colleagues there about the impact. Uh, we also met some of the friends of the little girl uh, who was killed two weeks ago. Uh, they're 14 year olds, her, her classmate, and that was very moving to see them uh, and the way that they spoke about her and the way that they clearly missed her and the shock that they have been under. Because that is one of the aspects of this, that the children here, and there are many children, this is, uh, uh, Palestinian territories as a whole has a very high birth rate. Uh, and West Bank, uh, uh, there are a lot of children, and that's the same here uh, in the camp. And a lot of them are traumatized by what they have seen. Because, of course, it's not just this week. There was an operation uh, with an attack helicopter two weeks ago, uh, and there have been many operations uh, against the camp over the last two years as the uh, level of incursions has increased dramatically. Uh, we then walked through the camp, uh, and we saw the damage which has been done to infrastructure. We saw roads being repaired starting to be repaired, electricity being restored in some places as well. Uh, but the roads have been destroyed by um, Israeli bulldozers, which has taken about uh, 50 centimeters uh, out of some of the roads. Uh, so it's going to be quite a big job to repair them. Uh, the roads are also full of mud, which is extraordinary because it's extremely hot here. But it shows that the water pipes have been damaged. Uh, and it's very sad in such a, uh, an area where water is so important uh, and it's so scarce to see uh, that a lot of it is currently being wasted. Um, I also talked to um, two elderly women um, whose house had been hit uh, by uh, a missile of some kind and burnt out. They said that they'd managed to get out in time. They got out on Monday night when we saw about 3,000 people leaving the camp. Uh, and their house was subsequently uh, damaged. So there's a lot to do here. There's a lot for donors and partners to do. UNRWA desperately needs money. Um, there's the UN Emergency Appeal, uh, which needs funding as well. Uh, and certainly we'll be looking at what we can do uh, from the UK to help UNRWA, to help OCHA, uh, to restore services here.